Hi, my name is Roger. How are you doing? I'm starting a series I call Time for Reflection. And it's just me want to tell you what I think about. It could also involve some tips and tricks or something. Today, a little bit of both. I call it Time for Reflection because I wanted to have a four minute time limit. And I hope I will succeed with that. So let's start the timer. Pow! Today, we're talking about in-ear monitors versus wedge. When it comes to monitoring, and for those of you who don't know what monitoring is, it's the sound we musicians and singers hear on the stage. It's not the same sound as the PA systems you hear as an audience. We choose what sound we want in our own monitors. Wedge, for example. This is sort of a wedge. It's a speaker we place on the floor so we can hear ourselves and our fellow musicians. It could be bigger or smaller than this, better or worse. Normally we use wedges on smaller stages and we choose probably to have the vocals and ourselves, our instrument and our own vocals in our own monitors. And we rely on that we can hear the guitar amplifier, bass amplifier, drums and so on from their positions, acoustically. In-ear monitoring is headphones, headphones of different kinds. We have the studio headphones. I've used these on um, theaters and musicals where they hide mu us musicians anyway. We have the normal phone headphones. I don't recommend this and I will tell you why in a bit. And we, I have these headphones that are made for my ears. So they really lock the sound out not the monitor sound, the acoustic sound. I also have a couple of in-ear monitors as a spare pair. What's the plus and minus with wedge and in-ears? Well, start with wedge. The positive thing about a wedge is that you hear things acoustically. And there are cases I use a wedge. I use a wedge when I play as a piano entertainer. I've tried in-ear and it doesn't work for me. I can't connect with the audience. I only hear myself and my piano, don't hear what they say. And it annoys me to pull the headphone out and put it in again all the time. I've tried to put an ambience mic so I can hear the audience through that mic, but then all the sound gets blurry and messy. So I don't use that. I use two wedges, two wedges, because then I get it in stereo. I can play at a lower volume than if I had one. And the wedges are a barrier for the people to come too close to me. I like people, but not that much. On a big, big stage, it's nearly impossible to use a wedge nowadays. It could be that like 30 meters to the other side of the stage. And the time difference, the time it takes for the sound to travel from one end to the stage to the other end, makes a chaos. And then you have to have your own wedges so loud that you take over the sound that comes from the other musicians. And it's a mess. I recommend in-ear in all of all cases where the stage is bigger than 10 meters wide. A benefit of wedge is also that it's easier to do a sound check. You can just pull the volume up a little bit and be fine. Because you hear everything acoustically also, you can go with the flow a bit. With in-ear monitoring, the benefits are you get it in true stereo. You get everything like a record, like you're sitting in the studio. Even if you turn around or walk away, the sound is going to stay the same. You block all the other sound out so you can perform at a lower volume and save your ears. And you also make it easier for the sound engineer because the sound engineer doesn't have to compete with loud speakers on the stage when he or she mixes the sound. One negative thing about in-ear is when you're rehearsing because you can't hear what people are saying. So everyone in the band have to have a mic even if you're not singing or something because everyone's voice counts and it's tiresome to have the headphones in your ear for a long period of time two three hours is okay eight hour rehearsal then you will get tired in a church piano bar a small pub stage maybe i would choose a wedge i will normally choose an ear in most cases especially on bigger stages and if i'm a musician behind an artist, for example, I will always choose in-ear. It saves my ears, I play better, and I can move around without the sound changing. I hope this was a little bit helpful and thank you for watching. I have a competition going on. 
the Roger That Song of 2021 competition, where you can win a great plugin. Links for that are down below. There you get all the information you need to participate in the competition if you want. The Swedish word of today is headphones, which in Swedish is hörlurar. Hörlurar. And Roger that.